Understanding, I made a blunder, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a common English phrase, I made a blunder. This phrase is often used in everyday conversations, and understanding it can really help you in grasping the nuances of the English language. Let's explore what this phrase means, how it's used, and some examples to help you get comfortable with it. I made a blunder means that someone has made a significant mistake or error. The word blunder refers to a careless or foolish mistake. This phrase is often used in situations where the mistake is not just a minor error, but something more substantial that has noticeable consequences. Key points. Blunder implies a larger, more serious mistake. It often suggests a lack of attention or careful thought. The phrase is used to admit responsibility for the mistake. The word blunder comes from the Middle English word blunderin, which means to move blindly or confusedly. This origin helps us understand the connotation of the word. It suggests a mistake made without clear direction or understanding. Key points. Blunder has a historical context implying confusion or lack of clarity. Understanding the origin helps grasp the full weight of the phrase. To better understand how to use this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. In a work setting, I made a blunder in the report, and now the numbers are all wrong. 2. In personal life, I made a blunder by forgetting our anniversary. 3. Learning a skill, I made a blunder in the chess game, which cost me the match. Key points. The phrase can be used in various contexts. It is versatile and applies to both professional and personal situations. While, I made a blunder, is a common phrase, there are many alternatives you can use to express a similar idea. I made a mistake. I erred. I slipped up. I goofed. Key points. Variety in language is important for fluency. Understanding synonyms expands your ability to express yourself. I made a blunder is a phrase that helps convey the seriousness of a mistake in a concise way. By understanding and using this phrase, you can enrich your English vocabulary and express yourself more clearly in various situations. I hope this video has been informative and helpful in your language learning journey. Keep practicing and see you in the next lesson.